What's up YouTube, Mambuna Marcus here. Figure I'd give you guys a second part to this uh, nocturnal catfish video. Uh, my previous video I kind of was talking about the striped Raphael cat, catfish that you see in the, the pail and that he was going off to another person's home and the reason for that and I didn't really spend too much time talking about the smaller catfish in that pail uh, and that is called a jelly bumblebee catfish or Bacteroglanus renanus. That is the scientific name. I probably butchered it. But again, it's a very, in my opinion, I, I believe it's a very uncommon catfish that you see in the hobby. Maybe it's just not too available. Uh, maybe they're, how can I say, maybe there's large populations of them in the wild. It's just, again, it's a fish that doesn't really get any recognition. But I think as a smaller catfish, it's just awesome because it has all the large predatory catfish characteristics in a small catfish. Um, I know, you know, by doing the limited amount of research that you can on this fish, they'll say that they, you know, sometimes get like over eight inches or so. Uh, but I've had this species in the past and I've had this guy for probably, I'm thinking at least five or six years. And any of the specimens that I've seen like I said, the ones in the past, and I remember there was a period of time where a couple other people I knew had them. They seem to probably max out at around maybe five, five and a half inches. They don't get very big, but again, what's a little deceiving is, uh, again, the, the size of that head and what they're able to get into their mouth would really, really, you know, how can I say, would really surprise you. So in the past, you know, we made the mistake of, you know, introducing a fish like this back when I was a young fish keeper um, into you know our community aquariums and you know without realizing it all of a sudden our smaller community fish just started to disappear so even though it was a small catfish it had that big predatory catfish attitude and it needs to be housed with fish that it can't stuff in a, into its mouth again pretty typical opportunistic catfish behavior but again such a cool catfish um, because of its small stature but again the characteristics of those large predatory catfish which make it really cool. Um, the bumblebee, the traditional bumblebee cats that you see on a regular basis are very small catfish and are not nearly as opportunistic or uh, how can I say gluttonous as this species. But again, this type of species you're not probably going to run into very often at the local fish store if any time at all. So I figured, you know what, I had them out of the tank it's a rare occasion to kind of document him and film him because when I put him back into my other aquarium, I might not see him for another few years. Again, they are extremely nocturnal. You'll only really catch them out at night um, unless they're really, really hungry and they'll come out for a feeding. But typical, you know, very nocturnal catfish fashion. You'll see them, you'll buy them, and you might not see him again until you either take the tank down or do maybe a major overhaul to it. So, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to pick him up, show him a little closer to the front of uh, the camera here so you can get a better look at him. If I can catch him. And you'll see what I mean. It's hard to see. The light's limited. And he's squeaking a little bit. You get that with some of these uh, types of catfish. But you can just see the girth on such a small fish that he's almost all head. And he almost looks like a mini red tail catfish, which is so cool. But again, a fish like this, provided that you know he can't swallow any of the tank mates, they're extremely well behaved and they're excellent scavengers. So other than that, I just wanted to share it, uh, share this fish species with you, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.